Dear students, this is the second class for OTP. One time password for spotters. I am seeing here a specimen which is roughly pear shaped or circular. And two adjoining such specimens have been adhering together. We call it matting. So the normal tissue is somewhat pale and I am finding pinkish yellow areas which are map-like. Yellowish gray or pinkish gray areas of necrosis which are cheesy in appearance. This is beautiful. Pear-shaped lymph node. There is another node that is adherent. Then I find that there are cheesy material. So the diagnosis is caseating necrosis lymph node tuberculosis. This is a microscopic slide in which I am able to see lymphoid follicles. Look at this region. And L, it stands for a lot of lymphocytes in this region. But what is important is there are multiple large areas, well circumscribed, but they are joining together to form map-like areas again. There are a good number of Langhans type of giant cells. Look at this one, there is a peripheral nucleus. The cells are all pale and they are called epithelioid cells. Multiple granulomata, epithelioid cells, lymphocytes, there will be fibroblasts in the periphery, areas of necrosis and Langhans type of giant cells that I am seeing. Look at the area of necrosis. This kind of picture will be focused for you in the exam. And this is just a line sketch of it. The diagnosis is necrotizing granulomatous lymphadenitis tuberculosis. This is another lesion which is lined by tall columnar cells. There is a pseudo stratification. And there are some goblet cells which are present. The stroma, stroma means the connective tissue. It is edematous. And it is showing a lot of inflammatory cells. I would like you people to mention the cells that you find in the slide in your college. Usually lymphocytes, plasma cells or eosinophils can be seen. So the diagnosis is inflammatory polyp. Grossly, it will be a polypoidal lesion. So this is a common slide that is kept for us. That has to be distinguished from the next one. Here again, I am finding a lesion that is more or less similar. Look at the polyp over here. This will not be given to you. So it is lined by squamous epithelium as well as what we had seen in the previous slide, the columnar epithelium and the goblet cells. The stroma here is having a lot of edema, empty space, and it has got inflammatory cells, lymphocytes. But more important is there are large circular structures, and some of them are having lymphocyte-like spores inside. So this is called the sporangium, and what is inside is called the endospore. So sporangium with endospores, polyp, lined by pseudostratified columnar or squamous epithelium, the diagnosis is rhinosporidiosis. This is another specimen that can be kept. A normal specimen I am giving for the sake of recapitulation. So I am finding impression of some organs, and then there are some depressions called as notches. Superiorly, there can be impression of the ribs. And look at the color. This is a violetish color, which is normal for the spleen. The specimen that will be given to us will be something like this. It is large, weighing nearly one kg. And I'm finding splenic notches. The external surface is grayish black, then the capsule will be thickened. The cut surface is slate gray. 
and it is solid homogeneous. The diagnosis will be chronic venous congestion of the spleen. That brings us to the end of this session.